The next method I'm going to show is multiplying polynomials, but now we're going to do the vertical method. This is the second method of the three, the vertical method. So what we're going to do is we're going to be multiplying polynomials again. Two polynomials, nothing in between the parentheses, so we're multiplying. So what we're going to do is set this up vertically. To do that, we're going to write the top polynomial. The first polynomial, x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then what I'm going to do is write the next polynomial right under it. x plus 2. If you like multiplying the traditional way, this will be the best method for you. So what we're going to do, we take 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2x, multiply the 2's, which is 4. There's only 1x, so I just keep the x. 2 times x squared, it'd be like 2 times 1 is 2. Only 1x squared, or 1 variable, so we have the x squared. I put plus signs here because the numbers are positive. If they're positive, we're going to put a plus sign. If they're negative, we're going to use a subtraction sign. So that's the first part. We've now worried about the plus 2. The plus 2 is done. We're now on to the next part. x times 1 is 1x. And where I'm going to write this is right under the other x term because I'm going to end up adding and I want my terms to be lined up. So 1 times x is 1x. 2x times x would be 2x squared. And then x times 1x squared would be x cubed. Now back to why I put the addition signs here. They were positive. All of these are positive too. So I'm going to put plus signs. And after that, all we do is add the term straight down. There's no term here, so I put a 0. No term here, so I put a 0. So this is kind of a review from what we did on the last section. 0 plus x cubed is x cubed. 2 plus 2 is 4, and I keep the term. 4 plus 1 is 5, I keep the term. And 2 plus 0 is 2. So I'm left with, I'm left with x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 2. And that's how we do it, the vertical method. If you want to do the box method, method, that's fine. But this is the vertical method. Some people like options on choosing how to solve it. So here is another option. To show one more example. I would like you to pause the video right now and try and solve this on your own. Now that you're done, after pausing the video and solving it, I'm going to show you what the solution is. So if I use the vertical method, I write my first polynomial on top. Then I'm going to write my second polynomial right under b minus 2. And all I do I'm going to multiply. So negative 2 times negative 5 would be positive 10. Negative 2 times 4b would be negative 8b. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. There's only one b. That's where the b comes from. Then, I'm done with this part. I'm going to multiply the b now. b times negative 5 would be negative 5b, and I'm writing it under the b's, my like terms, because I'm going to be adding. I'm going to write it right under the b's. 4b times b would be 4, because 4 times 1 is 4. b times b would be b squared. I'm then going to add, put in zeros where there's no terms. 0 plus 4b squared is 4b squared. Negative 8b plus negative 5b would be negative 13b. 
And lastly, 10 plus 0 is 10. And now we have multiplied those polynomials. We end up with 4b squared minus 13b plus 10.